At last, the 1948 show, episode one. Fun fair plays, music, Flight of the Valerie's by Wagner. This is the big one. Never before the screen at old series. Such searing action. Never before such a star said it cast. Music, the Cotterra Overture by Belouis. Temperous Tim Brooke Taylor in a role of a lifetime. You loved him in a song of Budapest. You, you rode with him in Desert Tigers. You fought with him, old Verena. Now why can't you leave me alone? Audience laughs. Music, Phil Sympathy by Beethoven, narrator. Edomatic Graham Chapman is the most emetic as Captain Tab Bob Groper. As it plays, he grasps Indians. Eldians last. Music of Night of Bear Mountain by Miss Kaluski, narrator. Interesting, enchanting child star, Martin Thelman, as a sinister Count Mulisk. Music stops my life. Have I got news for you? Audience last. Music, Rose of England by Ivor Evelo. Narrator, Vicious, Vicious John Cleese, as he's firing, with his fire engine penguin. Element, parasigging. QC Sir Haraldak, Vulture Paint Pant, where are you this evening on the fourteenth of July, witness? Why? Why I waited all night for you. You never came home. Narrator, the page of Lido de Groot's classic great classic, A Better Life through Haribo Herbal Tobacco. Video Fusion presents the last a nineteen forty eight show, introducing your hostess for tonight. Amy MacDonald was applauds. Hello, I'm your hostess for tonight. Music stops abruptly. I know we're going to have lots of fun. Well, that's quite enough of me, she giggles. And so I'm going to do the first item. First item, audience laughs into deep shouting. Ah, oh, come in, Mr. Potter. Very nice to see you again, sir. My name is Wilson. I've never seen you before. Splendid, splendid. I do hope you have been waiting. haven't been waiting long. I've been waiting just, just for over two days. My pipe was for Wednesday at 12 o'clock. Now Friday evening. Yes, well, I'm afraid the last place it did take oh, half a long time. Yesterday was such a lovely day. Actually, I was hoping to get away early this afternoon. Are you many still in the waiting room? There are over 150 people in the waiting, the waiting room. Or he laughs. It's a very small waiting room. It's a very hot day. Is it hot? Yes, it's, it's, it is hot. Is it hot? There was a dead dog in the waiting room. Audience laughs. Oh dear. Is that still there? Oh yes, I just remember. I just, I must remember to get it moved. Now, now will you come to see me about? Don't be shy. You can tell me. Do you want to join the police or singing lessons? Is it singing lessons? My leg, your legs. Chubby legs. Ah, well, you come to the right man. I'm a doctor, you know. Well, at last, a fully qualified doctor. I can speak English and can ski. Now, what sort of hat were you thinking of? Nice tall one with a big brim. My legs. I come to see you about my legs. Your legs. Are you ill? Are your legs ill? You're getting thin. Ah, a tuck of thin legs. Well, well. Been a good week. Two trench bump valves. A pirate fever, parrot fever, and now thin legs. Well, oh well. What is last? Now a thin, barrassy thin, a barrassy thin legs, huh? Well, let's have a look at them and take your bags down. Come on then. Come on. They're thin, aren't they? Or oh, you're starved, doctor. They're thin, aren't they? Thin. High pitched voice. They're fantastic thin, doctor. Look at those spindle snakes. Doctor, I don't come here to be insulted. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That was unprofessional. I'm sorry. Oh, do you think I could ask the people in the waiting room just to come in and have a good quick look? No, all right. Put your bags back on. Then, oh, nurse, may I, I want you for a moment, darling, to get some clothes on, huh? And now, Mr. Potter. Mr. Wilson, Mr. Potter, Wilson, Mr. Wilson, how's the eyesight? Can you read this card? Yes. Well, age G, G, 73210KB. Four eight one O B. Yes, that's my aunt in B- B- Brighton. She must be out of her mind. Or you last. No, no, legs, 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 legs. Can you touch your toes, all right? No, you can't touch your nose. Well, how do you watch them then? You dirty little man, grabbing round my strawberry, your filthy feet. Ah, oh, you can stand on one leg. Now open your leg, mouth. Does that hurt? No, all right now. Blink with your left eye. Move your right arm up and down by the side of your body. That's good. Now say, ah, doctor, ah, ah, doctor, ah. Doctor, now pat yourself on your head. Oh, your other hand, he repeats, ah, doctor, good. Now, that's it. Hop up and down, good. Now keep your eyes blinking, mouth opening and shutting. He repeats, ah, louder. 
Now faster, faster, faster. He laughs manically. Oh, the audience laughs too. Oh, this is a great God. Will you, will you get people, what do you get people to do? All right. You stop now. Ah, uh, now, Mr. Potter. How much weight have you gained in the last three months? Uh, two pounds? No, four pounds. No, eight pounds. Uh, Twelve pounds? No, thirteen pounds. No, thirty pounds, ten pounds. Oh, very well, Mr. Potter. Open the box. What box? Oh, Mr. Potter, you have turned down thirteen pounds and ten ounces. Let's see what you won, Mr. Potter. You turned down. What do you have turned down? Do you say you're married, Mr. Potter? You were one of months free to play Emerson's newly proved fry rub. Well done, Mr. Potter. And don't forget to join us again next week. Let me take, take, be your turn to take your pick. Goodbye, everyone. Pause. I'm not coming here again. Which crackles. Adder's fork, a blind worm sting. Lamb's leg, lizard's leg, and Hallett's wing. I am new to toad of frog. Toad of frog. Wool a bat and to- tongue of dog. And to follow, just a coffee, please. Or his laughs. Oh, how spooky. And now for something completely different. This time of year, when Mother Nature has mantled the wintry landscape, the icy fingers are false. Go fondly back to those lovely, lovely summer days when, oh, I have forgotten the rest. It's something about cricket. It is sort of loud, distorted voice. My lords and ladies and gentlemen, we come to the main contest of the evening. Have eight contests, five rounds, five minutes. Each round, two falls, two submissions, or knockout. So the winner. And just in your ref of the contest, we have Barney Gobet, crowd booze. Ladies and gentlemen, reducing the red corner, meeting, meeting yourself, yourself for the very first time, the one and only Tiger Winfrey. I thank you. Crowd grumbles, bell rings, he breathes heavily, grunts, efforts, he grunts, he shouts, ah, he shouts, barely intelligible. A oh, one, a two, he grunts, a oh, one, a two, he grunts, referee bubbles. He shouts, barely intelligible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Trevor call. Cry, child, cry, child, cheers. Hurdy gurdy plays. Applause, had to go to the balls, please. Applause. Now, theme music to Jane Bond plays, knocking on the door. Come in, agent. Ah, oh, come in, Mr. Mr. Layton. Yes, come in, please. Thank you. Sit down. Make yourself at home. Good. So, are you interested in joining the Secret Service, are you? Yes, I am. Splendid, splendid. Now, in the branch, we need alert, intelligent, active young men with good nerves. You've got good nerves, have you? Yes, I think so. Good. They're absolutely vital to the kind of work that everyone... Everyone's phone rings, audience laughs. Hello? Uh, Miss Jackson? Would you bring in Mr. Layton's file, please? Thank you. Sorry to keep you waiting. Well, be best in one moment. Oh, there you are, Miss Wilson. Jackson. On the desk, please. Audience laughs. You're not Miss Jackson. Oh, yes, you are. Good disguise. Well done, Mr. Jackson. Oh, one thing before you go. Oh, what did you do with that big file that was on my desk yesterday? One marked, uh, top, uh, top, no, highly secret. But all the nuclear nonsense. I gave it to the foreign looking gentleman who called yesterday, sir. All his giggles. Do they play cricket? He shouts. They're fired. I feel fired. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He shouts. You're fired. You play cricket? No, tennis actually. Oh, I used to play cricket. I remember on one occasion a bowling with an ex county player. He was actually, yes. I gave him a half volley just outside the half stump. He went put his leg foot down the wicket and his ball. Hit the ball back to me like a bullet. Never had a chance to move. Ball hit me straight between my eyes. Gave me a half volley just outside the half, half, half stump. He put his left foot down the wicket. Hit the ball back at me like a bullet. Never had a chance to move. Hit ball hit. Audience laughs. I do beg your pardon. Where was I? Bowling. That was right. Next time the ball I gave him, a shorter, faster one. He went on the back foot. Hit the ball back to me like a bullet. Never had a chance to move. Over his left shoulder, right down the left side screen. Fielder ran down, round. Picked up the ball for it. It was, it was like I was watching the wicket keeper. Ball landed right on the back. He ba ba ba. Oh, it's laughs. Last ball the over. Last ball the over. I gave him a slow one. Threw it up right in the air. 
He came all the way down the wicket, took the ball on the full toss of the barrel, back at me like a bullet. Never had a chance to move. Ball hit me straight, smack plumb between my eyes, because I never, I never get used to it by then. Oh, just last. Now, what's the language you speak? French. Ah, good arm. German speaking, the Dutch douche. Jahagen speaking, the voice first each. Dalanda Vincent, Augustin Bergen. You are not German, are you? Oh, just last. Now, do you think you can take pain? How do you think now? Do you think you can take pain? Do you think you can put up with a uh, physical torture? I hope so, yes. Oh, just last. Yes, well, I had five years in Jap camp, you know. Or was it Malaya? No, Japanese, that was it. Besides, get over get over, over it, though. Now, let's just have a look at your records, shall we? No, oh, let's check up on a few details. Oxford, first in modern language, tennis blue. You play the piano in mandolin. Oh, you play the mandolin, do you? You're not Chinese, are you? No, just as well. You don't want Chinese as far as good service. Piff, piff. No, jolly fear. You're not as bad as those Japs, you know. Japs came over fine in cabinet here. And after strawberries, do you see them? Do you want a strawberry? I mean, uh, why do you want to, um, to, um, why do you want to, he shouts, why do you want to join the Secret Service? Why, well, mother said it would be, why do you want to join the Secret Service? Can you keep a secret? Yes, I can. So, I think so. Good, audience just laughs. Are you good at codes? No, I'm afraid not. But don't matter, don't matter. Would you, would you, what would you say, what would you say if the, if the purple one back claps its feet? I'm afraid I have no idea. Well, have a go. Well, oh, actually, you have no idea. Come on, man, don't be right. Have a go, all right. The walls of Jericho are slimy green. One right, quite right. Well done, audience. Uh, now, coffee. Yes, please. Hello. We, we, we have two of those, some of those delicious coffees that you... Hello? Two coffees, please. Yes, cancel the other two. Oh, he laughs. There's someone behind you. He laughs. Oh, dear me. I haven't been taken in by the old one. Grass, oh, oh dear, the laughs. Now, one thing I've noticed back here, there, where we are, oh, yes, here, this is our second name, oh, 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 you're not a Russian, yeah? Russian, are you? Yes, I am. You're Russian? Yes, well, there's no good, that's a good, we don't want Russians as eager service, do we? Won't be a secret. Out you go, then. A Smith & Western 42, new revolver, kettle pin, voice, those of in, foul. You know, they bought, the gun out about 1962 gunshot. Now the reason that I know that is because of blank you fired at me when then you that you that you fired at me. You, you see, it not was practically no kick. Did you notice that? Practically no kick at all. The only the other thing you see, smoke came at the end of the barrel with gracious colour. Now if you use a real bullet, you see a quite distinctly sort of bluish tinge outside the blue of flame. You know you can't mistake it. It's sort of thing you pick up when knocking about. Uh, branch for years or oh, last two hello oh would you make that one coffee please all right we oui, oui. audience laughs now now i can go do uh, my dance man not now not but last night you promised man just do what we rehearse he sighs now buzz 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 smacks lips was water water there's a man there's a man in my soup Waiter, waiter, there's a man in soup. Oh, just laughs. Now I'd like to do my dance. See you grunts. Medieval music plays. Audible dialogue. Good evening and welcome to Treasure Trove. Tonight, with skivered drawing of room of Dumoraming, with Ernest Lemon, built specifically for the house's magnificent collection. It means usual the panel of experts are going to try and identify just the sort of magnificent objects of this collection. My left is Chesferox, Borough and Crater, the Cheltenham Museum of Fine Arts. Next to me is Dr. Alice Goodlebone. I believe Brownowin Institute audience laughs. On the end of our friend of ours, Professor Proudfoot, lecture on the corroborative objects of this, uh, with reductions over, I think we'll get straight out on the, on the first object. For those of you at home, want to pick your wits against the expert, now's the time to close your eyes. Heart, parish. Bowman, what would you start with this one? Cause it's certainly beautiful, isn't it? Lovely, beautiful. Yes, it's, isn't it lovely? Well, it's Ming, isn't it? Oh, it's a pair, I would say. Fourth density, fourth. Oh, foo, definitely fourth. Yes, Emperor Fu Fong, Fong. Pussy Chang Wang. Hang on, no, then there are two dragons. Yes, Fu Wang Mu. What do you think, Goldman? Goldman, yeah. I think you were probably right on me. I got Louis, the X of AI, Demerick Rose tweezers on my card. I think you're probably near the mark. 
Anyway, you certainly are correct. It's, a pair, it's part of a pair, because fortunately we have the other one here. Could you pass it along to Proudfoot? You didn't get a chance to have a look at it. This is probably a little unfair. Proudfoot did get a choice chance to identify it. Well, we do go along with the Prophemian method entirely on one, on that one. Fifth is full sense, too far too yet, tong. Full sense, he's far, far. It's a bit of a piece, it's a value. How can you say? Quite. Well, could it be, could we have next to it, please? Heart flourishes. Well, it's last, but you mean old, old chanting, isn't it? Enchanting, even. Absolutely enchanting. Well, Stafford Fickering. Late 18th century. This is really a mis- it really isn't a- this isn't really more than my- your field of mine, Prefer. When it's last on. Oh, perfect, perfect Molesworth. Yes, can't mistake it. Any one of these? What would you give to one, own one of these? They would get- well, where would I get sixty thousand pounds? Chairman, where would any of us? Yes, yes, Chef of a figurine. Thomas Molesford, date, date, 1789. Little earlier, 97. Something like that. Oh, it's last. It's pr- it's value profit. But the same as the Ming vase or the next object. It's really lovely piece. If you can see this one here, it's a more, a, a rather delicate clock mechanism, which audience lasts, which I don't think we could bother about with just at the moment. Oh, could we have a stone to do, to do you think, please? Heart flourish, Bowman. I think you recognize this one. Yes. Yes, this is my old favourite, Leo Doro and Diamond Darin. It's Baron Baruru, Proudfoot. Isn't the sort of legend attached to the diamond? Yes, there is now, you know, a rather romantic story attached to it. That this diamond did ever disappear, the Eugenia descends on the earth, it's Troy five million was, was who to be. He laughs, they're very nice, yes. A wrong Arabs, Proudfoot. Arabs nevertheless, that's diamond has survived, floods, earthquakes, even great five million, five million Arabs. Now we pass next to the next object. This is, of course, a chair by room. Oh, yes, very early. Column chatters. Experts chatter and simply chairman. I think that's all we got time for in the old dialogue. Acts brings. Column and yells, chairman. It's goodbye from us. Until next week. I'm going to reveal the music plays. The music distorts the hurdy goddy waltzes. Excuse me. Can you tell me what you think of the last 1948 show? Well, it's rather difficult to say what. What's good about it? Do you like it? Well, I don't know whether I like it or not. Yes or no? Yes, I do like it. Thank you. He laughs later. That was a Rediffusion London production.